Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video magazine, a vidmag, if you will, called Wojek's World Rap. I think you'll find something for everyone here. The production team, Harry McCullough, don't get me started on that lazy bastard, and I have spent literally hours on this venture, and we didn't put in all that half-arsed effort for it to fail. This episode we have Marcelo Belmondo chatting to Dominic Ward about Dirt Heart Pharmacy Press, Claudio Loren Brigida, with the news interests, and current events, the dubiously honourable Malcolm Misretternis with politics, and the Australian scene, Mary Beth Maoist on the world of art and Sasha Morlock Desad with Ask Sasha. On with the show. Hello, it's Marcello Belmondo here and I am very pleased to be associated with Wadjak Dudrun's new video magazine. I have known Wash since the days we both worked for Dino Rizzi making Italian comedies. Such fun times but today I am here talking with Dominic Ward from Queensland, Australia about his exciting new venture Dirt Art Pharmacy Press. Hello Dominic. Can you tell us what is Dirt Art Pharmacy Press's vision? Dirt Art has a singular vision to represent work from the very top end of literary fiction. So you are setting the bar low, then he he. Seriously though, do you see Dirt Art Pharmacy Press as having a singular stylistic vision? Our focus is on technique and writing that offers new directions in technique. How do you feel the press will fit into the Australian literary landscape? The press won't at all fit into the current Australian scene. We will, from the very first, offer our works at an international level through our connections with the experimental writing community. Oh, that's interesting. Where do you see the press in five years? In five years' time, we hope to have a solid back catalog behind us while continuing to publish top-level innovative fiction. Hey, Marcello, remember that night in the beat, that night you picked up. Ah, yeah, thanks, Dominic. I see my producer is giving us the wind up. I guess we will have to finish now. Thank you for answering my questions, hey, and Ray. Can you believe that? Tom was gonna rat. Ah, oh, we are still rolling. Ciao. Marcello out. My name is Mary Beth Maoist. For the last two months I have been the arts reporter slash arts critic for the Nimbin Daily Stoner. Prior to that I spent ten years with the socialist worker. I'm selling it on the street not writing for it. After meeting Wabj, a mean Mr. De Bruin at an ashram retreat, at the bottom of the Himalayas I accepted his offer to come aboard this new venture. I will be reporting from the whole world of arts aria except where Marcelo Belmondo wants to do it. Don't get me started on Marcelo. Geez, what is it with Italian men? Anyway. Firstly it is my pleasure to report on the huge splash that Rick Krieger recently made in New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps, with his retrospective what have you done for the past 40 years. A huge success. Yes. But how does one measure a life's work? For me it is sometimes as simple as the smiles an artist puts on a face, and the ideas that he implants in the brain and Mr. Krieger kicks ass with both. Five Mary Beth stars for this one. Also appearing was that cultural icon the little boy with pointy ears. Whenever he's about mischief follows. Oh, and smiles and that's not just the Ganga talking baby. Hello Claudia Loren Brigida reporting for Wojcik's World Rap. Today I am looking at new and experimental fiction. This is following on from Marcelo Belmondo's discussion with Dirt Heart Pharmacy Press's Dominic Ward. First up looking at the Derek Pell Norman Conquest Black Scat group of experimental and humorous writings and publishing. The irrepressible publisher writer is presently recommending The Zombie of Great Brew which can be described as a zombifying decent into slapstick, humiliation, and confusion sounds like a hoot and comes highly recommended. Derek Pell has also produced the highly acclaimed Naked Lunch at Tiffany's out on Black Scat. Mr. Pell has been described as a master parodyist of great wit. His body of work stretches back over a significant period of time and his work has remained both enjoyable and contemporary. Another recent release is Carla M. Wilson's Impossible Conversations, published by Black Scat Books. This witty book contains imagined interviews with 15 world-famous artists, Yoko Ono, Andy Warhol, Alfred Hitchcock, Vincent Van Gogh, Paul Gauguin, Georgia O'Keeffe are some of those covered. It is a quirky and experimental book which is drawing great reviews. These books show that good work is not limited to major publishing houses and sometimes the most interesting things can be found at the fringes. All the books named here can be obtained through Amazon USA. Eckhard Gerdes is the manager of the Journal of Experimental Fiction and is an accomplished author and educator in his own right. He wrote and had published a book called How to Read in 2014. In this reviewer's opinion this is an essential addition to any library. 
the Journal of Experimental Fiction has supported a number of upcoming writers. One of these, Dominic Ward stated that JEF is a magical agency, the last office of the right and true, captained by Eckhard and steered into the unknown blue, I can add it is some magic everyone needs. Lastly there is some great news in that the noted producer and author Kip Hanrahan is undertaking a new American clave recording which is to be released later this year. Fans of Kip's music are eagerly awaiting this release which has been supported by crowdfunding. Kip's releases date back to the 1970s and a number are considered classics both for material and personnel recorded. These include Coup Dita, Desire Develops an Edge and Beautiful Scars, though picking out highlights over such a lengthy career is a risk as every fan will have their own favorite. My name is Malcolmus Returnus. Despite being elevated at great personal satisfaction and cost of the magnificent supreme ministerialism, I will honor my commitment to my dear friend Wash, Wadjak Dudrun, whom I have known since we were at Oxford together and remain as correspondents on politics and the Australian scene. As Australians will remember I invented the internet when I owned Ozumail, therefore I am perfect for showing you all how intelligent I am. I am Sasha Morelok di Sade and I will answer any questions Greca o my have about life and the pursuit of happiness. First up there have been several queries about what happened to our friend Marco Bertoli and urging me to pass on their best wishes to him. Marco has decided to take a sabbatical from the internet and he is well and doing fine. He will pass on his regards to Marco. Show all the Greek how of any questions for me please send this to ask Sasha care of ODX World or up. Sometimes in life you are going to stand out. Like when I was filling in with the Jackson 5. I was the only one who didn't have an afro, yet I made every effort to fit in, while embracing my difference. In life, one must stay true to the person inside yourself and when you're you will find you have the greatest confidence. Good night and thank you for watching. Thank you.